G'day everyone, welcome home and you watching Camping Mates. Today I'm going to cook something very simple and versatile. One of the bare bone basic curries from Sri Lanka. The king of coconut based curries I might say. And I'm going to cook it my favorite way. The fried dal curry with coconut milk. Also, a quick note, keep a garbage bag with you at all times. Never leave anything behind, can't really stress this enough. Well, please, you gotta keep the tracks and the bush clean. Well, now that's out of the way, let's get into it. 100 grams of dal, aka lentils, into a bowl. I would like to wash it two to three times to get rid of the weird taste. When you're washing, water gets a bit cloudy and try to wash it off, just like washing the rice. Simple. Chop one chili, don't go crazy, two cloves of garlic, and half a bulb of an onion. Finely chopped, as they say. I like to pre-chop everything needed to be chopped, so I don't have to come back to it later, and everything is ready to go. Fire up the stove, add washed dal to the pan, give it a little mix, add 450 ml of water. You see the froth? Get rid of it, you don't need it. Let it simmer for 2 minutes. Next, chop onion in, red chili powder, half a teaspoon, turmeric powder, half a teaspoon, unroasted curry powder, half a teaspoon. Add a bit of salt to taste, as they say. Give it a good mix, leave it for 8 to 10 minutes, and you caught me red handed. Sneak a little snip, is that funny? I don't know. I mean, cooking time can be different. When you out in the elements, could be 5 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the weather and the pot or pan you're cooking on, so you gotta eyeball it. This is the texture you're looking for. Next, add 2 tablespoons of coconut milk powder and bring it to boil. Also, you can use canned coconut milk, 200 ml. But then you have to add 300 ml of water instead of 450 in the beginning. Bamboozled? Please pause and take a screenshot of the recipe. 2020 style? Transfer into a bowl and let it rest for a minute. Also, you can serve this as is, but I'm gonna take it up a notch. Hot pan, olive oil in. No need to clean the pan, leave it as is, the camping style. One tablespoon of whole mustard in. Mix it while pushing into the pan to open all the goodness and aromas. Add garlic. Now you should be in the God's country with all kind of smells and flavors. You can add curry leaves now if you want to pump the aromas even further up, but I'll do it in the end. After mixing everything together, add cooked dal into the pan. Sizzling sound and steam? Yeah, you're in the right track. Let's go. Add green chili. Finally, add curry leaves and cook it for another 2-3 to three minutes and should be good as gold. Little taste test perhaps? Yeah, I reckon hit the nail on the head on this one. Gonna toast 2 slices of gluten-free bread on the stove top toaster. Because why not? Two words for you, maximum heat and monitoring. And that's how you do a good toast in the bush. I'm gonna pair this aromatic goodness with coconut based sarak, also from Sri Lanka. I'm gonna consume all three the same time. What a yummy yumkins for tummy tumkins. You can have this for breakfast or dinner, or even if you want it, you can have it for lunch as well. Let me know if you recreate this. Haru, see you later.